Thank so you. Now, uh, yeah. So now let's move to the next uh, speaker. So the next speaker is uh, Professor Han Chung Liu. Uh, he uh, is an associate professor at the Center for Statistical Science in the Department of uh, Industrial Engineering at Tsinghua University. He received his PhD in uh, statistics from Peking University and then worked with Professor Bing Yu as a postdoctoral post -doc <clears throat> uh, scholar in the Department of Statistics at UC Berkeley. His uh, research focused on developing uh, statistical theory and methodologies for solving high dimensional data problems and uh, drawing cost inference. So let's uh, welcome Professor uh, Han Chung Liu. Uh, thanks for the introduction. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Um, okay, let's share the screen. Uh, I have to... Do you have any problem? Yeah, I have some problems sharing the screen. So probably the other way is you send the, the PPT to to them uh, and ask them to share it for you. Uh, thanks for the introduction. And it's my great pleasure to share my work on re-randomization and regression adjustment in cluster randomized experiments. This is joint work with uh, Xin Lu at Tsinghua University, Tian Le Liu at Harvard University, and Peng Ding from uh, UC Berkeley. So first, I will introduce the cluster randomized experiments and then describe several cluster randomization schemes and study their design-based properties. Next, I will discuss the combination of re-randomization and regression adjustment to further improve the efficiency. And finally, I will show you some simulation results and conclusions. Uh, cluster randomized experiments are widely used in public health and social science. It assigns the treatment at the cluster level with units within a cluster receiving the same treatment or control condition, which can help to avoid interference within clusters and is applicable when individual level assignment is infeasible. Before the experiments, researchers often collect covariates at the individual level or cluster level. Uh, for example, in clinical trials, individual level covariates may include the gender, the age, the education of patients, while cluster level covariates may include the capacity and the location of the clinics. Cluster randomization can balance the covariates on average, however, the probability of having imbalance in covariate after treatment assignment can be very large. That will uh, complicate the interpretation of the experimental results, especially if some covariates are predictive to the outcome. Uh, Fisher proposed blocking or stratification to balance a few discrete covariates that are most relevant to the outcomes. Uh, Re-randomization, also known as uh, constraint randomization, is a more general approach to balance both uh, discrete and continuous covariates. The existing design-based theory for re-randomization assumes that the treatment are assigned at the individual level, uh, leaving it unclear how re-randomization would theoretically work in cluster randomized experiments. The goal of this talk is to fill this gap. Uh, consider a cluster round mass experiments with a finite population of N units grouped into M clusters. The experimenter randomly assigns M1 clusters to the treatment arm and the remaining M0 clusters to the control arm. Uh, let Ni denote the size of the cluster I and uh, Zi denotes the treatment indicator. Zi equals one if the cluster I is assigned to the treatment group and Zi equals zero if it is assigned to the control group. Uh, let Zi denotes the treatment indicator for unit Z in cluster I. By design, Zi equals Zi for all the units Z in cluster I. Um, I will denote the total number of treated units and the control units by N1 and N0. Uh, different from completely randomized experiments, 
n1 and n0 are random if the ni vary. Uh, for each patient, suppose there are two potential outcomes, yz1 and yz0, representing its outcome under treatment and under control respectively. So we assume that the stable unit treatment value assumption holds and the observed outcome yij equals yj1 if it is assigned to the treatment group and equals yj0 if it is assigned to the control group. In the experiment, we can observe two, can, two types of covariates, the individual level and the cluster level. I will use xrj to denote the individual level covariates for unit j in cluster i, and I use ci to denote the cluster level covariates. We are interested in the average treatment effect tau, and we want to infer tau based on the observed data the y, the z, the x, and the c. We adopt the design-based or randomization-based framework by conditioning on the potential outcomes and the covariates, with treatment assignment being the only uh, randomness. Uh, and in the following, I will use a few notations. For a finite population of size m, I will use a bar to denote its finite population mean and the VRF denotes its finite population variance, and the COF denotes its finite population covariance. Uh, let PRA, VARA, and the COVA denote the uh, asymptotic probability variance and the covariance, respectively. There are two widely used estimators for the average treatment effect. The first one is the difference in means estimator also called the Hayek estimator, denoted by tau hat Hayek, which is the mean of the outcome in the treatment group minus the mean of the outcome in the control group. Because the denominators N1 and N0 are random, so the Hayek estimator can be biased. An unbiased estimator is the uh, Howitz thompson estimator. I will call it HT estimator which replace the random denominator N1 and N0 by their expectations and has this uh, following formula. I will denote this estimator as tau hat HT. Uh, if we define some rescaled cluster total potential outcomes, Yi tilde, which is the sum of the Yiz in cluster I times M divided by N. And then we can denote the observed the scaled cluster total potential outcome as yi tilde. Then the HT estimator simplifies as the difference in mean estimator on the yi tilde. It is unbiased because we can treat each cluster as a whole. Moreover, under mild moment conditions, Su and Ding 2021 showed that both the Hayek estimator and HT estimator are asymptotically normal. Uh, we can also apply these two estimators to the covariates uh, and define, for example, the tau hat HTC as the HT estimator applied to the cluster level covariates and define tau hat Hayek X as the Hayek estimator applied to the individual level covariates. We have introduced uh, two estimators for the average treatment effect and two types of covariance. Uh, because we have two kinds of covariance, um, it, we can have two, at least two cluster re-randomization schemes. The first one is based on the Mahalanobis distance of cluster level covariance for a pre specified threshold A, we accept the treatment if and only if the Mahala Nobis distance of the tau hat HTC and zero is less than or equal to A. This re-randomization scheme is denoted by MC. Uh, the other re-randomization scheme is based on the Mahala Nobis distance for individual level covariates. That is, we accept the treatment assignment if and only if the Mahalo Nobis distance of tau hat Hayek X is smaller than or equals to A. And we denote 
this re-randomization scheme by MX. Uh, because there are two treatment effects emitters and uh, two cluster re-randomization schemes, theoretically they will have four uh, combinations. Uh, however, it is more natural to consider both the design and analysis with the same type. So in the following, I will focus on the asymptotic distribution of tau hat Hayek given MX and the asymptotic distribution of tau hat HT given MC. Under mild moment conditions, we can show that both the, high, both the joint distribution of the tau hat Hayek and the tau hat Hayek X is asymptotically normal with mean zero and a variance denoted by V in a, a blockwise manner, the V tau, V Hayek tau tau, V Hayek tau x, V Hayek s tau, and V Hayek xx. Similarly, we can have the same results for the HT estimator. By this proposition, the Mahalanobis distance based on both tau hat Hayek and tau hat HT convert in distribution to a chi-square distribution with k degrees of freedom. This provides a guidance for choosing the threshold A. For example, we can choose A as the alpha quantile of the uh, chi-square distribution to ensure an asymptotical acceptance rate of alpha. As suggested by Rubin and um, by Morgan and Rubin 2012, uh, we can take alpha equals uh, 0.001 when the cluster numbers are moderate or large. However, uh, practitioners need to be aware that with small m and small a, we may don't have enough randomizations and the asymptotic approximation can be poor. So in this case, we suggest using the Fisher randomization test where the threshold a can be chosen to ensure non trivial powers. Next, I will uh, show, you, show the asymptotic distribution of the AT estimator under cluster randomization. Uh, let LKA denote a truncated normal distribution, that is, the conditional distribution of D1 given D transport D smaller than or equals to A, where D equals d1 to dk is a k-dimensional standard normal random vector. And let epsilon be a standard normal random variable independent of LKA. Uh, extending the definition in the et al. 2018, we define squared multiple correlations, rc square and rx square. So for example, the rc square is somehow uh, the correlation of the projection of the tau ht height onto tau htc height. And we can show that uh, both the Hayek estimator under MX and the ht estimator under HC converge in distribution to a convolution of a normal random variable and a truncated normal random variable. This result is similar to the results under complete randomization and re-randomization. Uh, in, uh, in the asymptotic distribution, uh, the truncated normal part is due to uh, the projection of the tau hat Hayek onto the tau hat Hayek X. And the normal part corresponds to the residual of the projection and that is not affected by the re-randomization. Uh, moreover, similar one provide a direct uh, comparison for the two cluster re-randomization schemes. Um, with a small a, the variance of the truncated normal part, LKA, can be small, and uh, therefore, the variance of the normal part is the leading term in the asymptotic variance. So we can compare the leading term for these two re-randomization schemes. Uh, under certain, under regulatory conditions, if the cluster level covariates include the cluster size, 
and the scale, the class, the total of individual level covariates, then uh, the asymptotic variance for the uh, Hayek estimator is larger than or equal to the asymptotic variance for the HT estimator. And that is the re-randomization based on the uh, cluster level covariates is better than the re-randomization based on the individual level covariates. This parallels to the results of uh, Shu and Ding in 2021 without re-randomization that the regression of the just estimator based on scaled cluster total dominates the regression of the just estimator based on individual level data with properly defined covariates. But note that to obtain these results, we need to include the cluster size as the cluster level covariates. The cluster re-randomization schemes using the Mahalanobis distance view all covariates as equally important. Although they have the advantage of being invariant to non-degenerate linear transformations of the covariates, they are not ideal in experiment if we have some prior knowledge about the importance of the covariates. Uh, with, proper, with prior knowledge about the relative importance of the covariates, a better choice is the cluster re-randomization with the weighted Euclidean distance, which has been frequently used in practice. Next, we will study its design-based property. We consider a general cluster re-randomization schemes defined by general quadratic forms of measure of covariate imbalance, denoted by dx, ax, and dc, ac. Uh, here, the AX and the AC are positive definite matrix. They reduce to the Mahalanobis distance if AX equals uh, the inverse of M times the covariance of tau hat Hayek X, and the AC equals the inverse of M times the covariance of tau hat HTC. And the weighted Euclidean distance corresponds to diagonal AX and AC. Uh, under the same kind of conditions, uh, we can derive the asymptotic distribution of the ATE estimator under these two re-randomization schemes. The result is very similar. The asymptotic distribution is a convolution, convolution of a normal random variable and a truncated normal random variable. So using this theorem, we can uh, uh, moreover, the asymptotic distribution are symmetric around zero and the unimode. And because the truncated normal random variable is more concentrated at zero than the normal random variable with the same variance, so the uh, conditional distribution of the AT estimator is more concentrated at uh, zero than this under the standard cluster randomization. And that is the re-randomization can narrow the centered quantile range. Uh, to compare the asymptotic efficiency of these two cluster re-randomization schemes, we can compare their variance reductions given the same acceptance rate. Let alpha denote the asymptotic acceptance rate and let gamma be the gamma function and the pk be a, a constant defined below. Then we have the following formula for the conditional asymptotic variance for both the Hayek estimator and the HT estimator. These two formulas are very similar. So the first term is the variance cost corresponding to the normal part. And the second term is the leading term for the variance of the condition of the truncated normal uh, part. And here alpha is the acceptance rate and the short term is a small o term. So from these results, we can see that the conditional asymptotic variance depends uh, on AX or AC only through this quantity mu X AX or mu C V C. Here the mu X AX has a, um, complicated formula, but it is, you can uh, treat it as a function of AX. 
and for the rerun migration using the Mahalanobis distance, the mu x a x and the mu c a c are equals to one. Uh, from from this formula, we can uh, derive the minimizer of the, asymptotic, the conditional asymptotic variance with respect to the AX or AC. For the weighted Euclidean distance, both AX and AC are diagonal matrix, so we can easily obtain its minimizer. So the following theorem shows that the optimal weights should be uh, proportional to the square of the V Hayek tau x, V Hayek x inverse. Here, the V tau tau V x s inverse is somehow the projection coefficients of uh, tau on x. If we let A x optimal and A c optimal denote the optimal weighting matrices, suppose that the covariates are orthogonal, orthogonalized prior to the rerun migration, then in this case, the V Hayek X S inverse and V HT, HTCC inverse are diagonal matrix. The optimality of AX optimal and AC optimal implies that the rerun migration schemes with the optimal weighted Euclidean distance is better than the rerun migration schemes with the uh, Mahalanobis distance. Uh, however, this conclusion does not hold if the covariates are, are not orthogonalized. Uh, when we have prior information about the relative importance of the covariates, uh, Rubin, Morgan and Rubin 2015 proposed another re-randomization scheme that is the re-randomization with tiers of covariates. However, uh, there is no comparison between the weighted Euclidean distance and the um, rerun migration with tiers of covariates. So we try to fill the gap and we obtain that under the mild moment conditions and suppose that the covariates are orthogonalized. Then the rerun migration with the optimal weighted Euclidean distance is superior to the rerun migration with tiers of covariates. The re-randomization uses covariates in the design stage and the regression adjustment uses covariates in the analysis, analysis stage. They can, be used inter, uh, they can be used simultaneously. So under the uh, re-randomization scheme DX, AX, we can use the coefficient, the OLS coefficient of ZIZ in the least square phase of YIZ on ZIZ, XIZ, and the interaction of ZIZ, XIZ to estimate tau, and use the cluster robust standard error to estimate the true asymptotic standard error. Under the DCAC, we can use the coefficient of zi in the least squares feet of yi theta on zi ca and zi times ci, and use the heteroscedasticity robust standard error to estimate the asymptotic standard error. We denote the regression coefficient and the variance estimators as the tau hat Hayek adjust, uh, v hat lz adjust and the tau hat ht adjust, and v hat hw adjust. We have the following results. Under DCAC, the estimator tau hat ht adjust is consistent for tau and asymptotically normal. Moreover, the probability of the variance estimator is larger than or equal to the true asymptotic variance, and thus the word type confidence interval has desired coverage probabilities. Under DX AX, the estimator tau hat uh, Hayek adjust is also consistent for tau. However, different from treatment assigned at the individual level, the asymptotic distribution of the adjust estimator tau hat Hayek adjust is not normal, but a, no but a convolution of normal and a truncated normal. 
the probability limits of the variance estimator is also larger than or equal to the true asymptotic variance and the word type confidence intervals is still valid. Moreover, if the cluster level covariates include the cluster size and the, the scale the cluster total of individual level covariates, then the asymptotic distribution of the tau hat HT adjust under DC AC is more concentrated at tau than the tau hat Hayek adjust under DX AX. And that is uh, the regression adjustment using cluster size and the scaled cluster total outperforms regression adjustment using individual level data. So next I will show some simulation results. The potential outcomes are generated by this uh, linear model. Here, the GNI captures the cluster effects on individuals and the epsilon IZ are the uh, random are normal distributed. The pre-treatment covariates are generated from a normal distribution with mean zero and a correlation row. Uh, we set the number of cluster M equals 100 with 50 assigned to the treatment arm and 50 to the control arm. The size of each cluster is sampled uniformly from the integer set from four to 10. We will change the covariate dimension and the correlation of covariates and also the function G and the parameters and the parameters of uh, all the serenal considered in the simulation are in this table. So we evaluate the final sample performance of all eight combinations with binary choices for uh, three orthogonal axes, the individual level denoted by X versus the cluster level denoted by C, the Mahalanobis distance M versus the optimal weighted Euclidean distance without orthogonalization denoted by W, uh, using regression adjustment, adjust or not. We also uh, consider two baseline methods, the Hayek and the HT estimators without using cluster re-randomization. Uh, this finger shows the results. Uh, for each serenial, uh, the methods from left to right, um, the first four methods are using cluster randomization only, and the last four methods are the regression adjusted counterparts. Uh, the the methods uh, five and six in the middle are the Hayek estimator and the HT estimator. So for the name of the estimator, for example, the REMC is the re-randomization using the Mahalanobis distance uh, with the cluster level covariates. Similarly, the REWC is the re-randomization using the weighted Euclidean distance with the cluster level covariates. So from this finger, we can see that the combination of uh, cluster re-randomization and the regression adjustment uh, result in a uh, better performance in all serenials. However, in some uh, cases, the combination has small improvement using uh, over cluster re-randomization alone. This is because using cluster re-randomization alone already has significant improvement as the standard deviations are 30% to 50% smaller than the two baseline methods. Moreover, the bias of the biases are negligible for all the methods. In scenarios one and three, the cluster re-randomization schemes based on the optimal weighted Euclidean distance, the, the second and the fourth method, outperforms the cluster re-randomization schemes based on the Mahalanobis distance. This may be due to the positively correlated covariates. On the contrary, in Serenals uh, 2 and 4, the cluster re-randomization schemes based on the uh, Mahalanobis distance are better, which may be because the covariates are negatively correlated. We conclude that the correlation structure between covariates can influence the uh, efficiency of the balance criterion. 
So as a conclusion, uh, we study cluster randomization with both individual level and the cl cluster level covariates and derive a design-based asymptotic theory for estimators, either with or without regression and adjustment. We compare two cluster randomization schemes. One is based on the weighted Euclidean distance, and the other is based on the uh, uh, the randomization with tiers of covariates. And we found that for orthogonalized covariates, the weighted Euclidean distance is better than the Mahala Nobis distance with tiers of covariates. Uh, our asymptotic theory requires a large number of clusters, which may be unrealistic in many cluster randomized experiments. When the number of clusters is small, one alternative approach is to use a mixed effects model by imposing modeling assumption on the data generating process. Another alternative approach is to use the facial randomization tests that can deliver finite sample exact p-value under the Sharpenau hypothesis. Importantly, the facial randomization test must follow the same treatment assignment rule of cluster randomization, and the test statistics should be studentized as suggested by John in 2021. Um, so that's all, thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, Hanjong. So do we have any questions? Okay, I, I have a quick question. Uh, so I see that you have two kinds of uh, adjustments. One is based on the individual uh, covariates and the other is based on the cluster level covariate. So I see that the, the, the cluster size is uh, uh, one uh, cluster level covariates. Can you see more about the cluster level covariates? So yeah, uh, this is a very good question. Actually, the, the definition of cluster level and individual level covariates can be subtle, and the different levels of covariates could be used interchangeably. Uh, for example, we can take some statistics of the individual level covariates within a cluster to construct a cluster level covariates. Uh, on the other hand, uh, it is very common that only cluster level covariates are observed prior to the randomization. In which case we can define the individual level covariates xij uh, equals to ci for all the units Z in cluster i. Okay, I see. So for example, the, the average of one covariate uh, may be uh, cluster level covariate, right? Yes, yes. I see, thanks. Uh, 